It's true. Well, thanks, Corey. So we've spent the last month or more celebrating the holidays from Thanksgiving to Christmas. There have been many gatherings and a lot of them center around food. So we thought it's appropriate to end our 2023 with what else? Food. <laughs> and we have Chef Alexander Rivas here. Hello. hello. Hi. From 351st, the restaurant. You sounded surprised. Like, oh, hi. What did you oh, get hello. here? Hello. <laughs> Uh, on the top floor of the Double Tree in downtown Cedar Rapids. Yes. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for um, being Today here. we're going to be making a black bean and chipper gold chili um, featuring black beans, of course, and also our Double Tree chipper gold um, beer from Lions Bridge Brewery. Oh, okay. It has notes of chocolate and vanilla, and it kind of emulates the classic double tree cookie that you get in upon check-in. I love those cookies mm. so much. I dreamed about them as a child. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and still do. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit before we get into the goods here. Yes. 351st, and you're, you're kind of the man at the helm. Talk a little bit about what it is, where it is for people who aren't familiar, and what makes it unique. So, um, with 350, it is an opportunity to have different flavors from around the Midwest. It's, we have people that have worked, like myself, from the East Coast with our food and beverage director, um, Patrick. He's coming from the East Coast, and I've also had spent time on the West Coast, and even some of my background from over 10 years ago working in Iowa City. So like this black and gold chili, this was something we made um, every home game for Iowa. <laughs> so with the Citrus Bowl coming up, I thought it would be a perfect time to advertise that. Yes, it's yes. a perfect meal. And thankfully it's getting a little colder because yes. now we can really savor these chilies. <laughs> yes, definitely, definitely. So we started off with some ground beef and some pork Italian sausage. We have some onions, some poblanos in here. And instead of chili powder, what we actually did was take some of uh, dry chilies, Guajillo and Pasilla chilies, okay. that we actually rehydrated in beef stock. So we okay. used no chili powder, we just used that and rehydrated, blended it up, and this is how we're going to get our base for the chili itself. Ooh. And in addition to that, we rehydrated can you grab one of the beers, please? Absolutely. And this is this is Patrick. No, yes, Patrick talking yes. to me. He was, yes. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> that's for after the show. <laughs> that's for during the commercial break. That's what that is. Awesome, thank you. And so we also um, rehydrated some of the tortillas. Okay. This is going to be what we use to thicken our chili. Interesting. Oh, what yes. is that? So this is actually um, tortillas and beef stock. And so what this is going to do is going to add a really depth of flavor of corn into the dish, and it's also going to thicken up your chili. So imagine when you uh, crunch crackers into your chili mm -hmm. and everything. Yes. That's already built into oh, the chili. Oh, wow, okay. Yes. And so in addition to that, sorry, it's a little high up. I'm tall. <laughs> it looks so good. We have awesome. a box. Thank wow. You. I know I should be standing on the box. Sure. But I'm going to ask you a, a controversial question. Yes. That is a great debate whenever we have a chili cook-off here at TV9. Yes. Do beans belong in chili. Of course, we have black beans for the black bean <laughs> and golden corn and chipper gold. So the black bean, um, black and gold, we're, we're oh, doing yeah, the it. Hawks. Okay. Yes, black we're doing it. We're doing black and gold. <laughs> of course we go are. Go Hawks. And lastly, we're going to add the chipper gold beer as okay. well, like I said, with notes of chocolate and vanilla. So with the chocolate and the chili, it's kind of emulating like a Mexican mole flavor as okay. well. So it's not necessarily sweet. It's more like an earthy. Uh, flavor that brings the meat together with okay. the ch with the chili, so it's really great. So this is something that we just put all together. We also add some oregano, some um, red pepper, some cumin, and we're just gonna let this simmer for a little bit. How Probably long like, would you say? If, if at least an hour, okay, and okay. preferably eat it tomorrow. Okay. Yes, let so, it savor. Yeah. You let it. You know, get have the flavors get a chance mm -hmm. to get to know each other. You know, yeah, it works out a lot better. <laughs> Somebody's an office fan. <laughs> <laughs> just don't spill the pot of now, chili. Now, this is just one of the many things that you'll find on the menu. And I know in the next yes. segment, we're going to get into a little bit more of what's on that menu. Yes. But, uh, let's talk about this. this is some, somebody's watching it today. Can they pop up this afternoon and say, hey, I want to have that chili that I saw on TV this morning? Not yet. We're okay. going to be making some changes for 2024. There's a lot of upcoming things we're going to be doing. Um, some of our bourbon dinners. We're and um, we have some specials that we're running this weekend for New Year's Eve. Okay. So this isn't something that we have on it just yet, but with the anniversary of Tripper Gold, um, and also there's going to be a um, um, some oak, 
some barrel aged okay. chip and rolls that's coming as well for the anniversary. We wanted to just emphasize this a little bit mm -hmm. and just kind of let everyone know that we have changes coming for the new year. Gotcha. Wow. Okay. And it yeah. smells so good. Awesome. It looks so delicious. And we have cornbread. Yes. And we can keep talking about that. Yes, that. And we'll give more details maybe about the New Year's Eve yes. dinner that you can make a reservation mm -hmm. for. Chef Alexander. Oh, yes, we have a graphic right here. here. Yes. yes. It's going to be on Sunday evening from 4 to 10 p.m. They, they moved the 31st to the end of the year. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Try it new season. Funny we'll how stay. that happens. Yeah. So don't go away because we're going to stay right here with Chef Alexander from 351st. That's right. You're watching Everyday Iowa right here on KCRG TV 9.